<laughs> so we're gonna do my face makeup now using this month's boxy charm just came in the mail yesterday i opened it up just to see what kind of products are in it and i know that there are some face stuff and then there are also some eyebrow stuff so this month's theme is makeup is art and i agree it is so what we're gonna start with today i think i'm gonna start with brows so there's a brow product in here and a brow brush this is the brow gal by tonya crooks and this retails for 35 dollars, and it's a convertible brow and which means that it's a powder slash pomade and when used dry it's a powder and when you wet it it's a it turns into a pomade isn't that exciting so I'm just going to fill in my brows a little bit with this. Let's see what it looks like. Look at that. Nice um, color diversity. And then there's the brow brush, also by the Brow Gal. And this retails for $14. I just figure out busting out of it. And it's a quite generic um, brow uh, brush. It's got a brush on one side, an angled brush, and then a spoolie on the other side. I like this. It feels very nicely made. I'm going to zoom you guys in just a little bit. All right. And... I think I'm gonna take the dark shade and use it as a pomade. So I'm going to grab, let's see what kind of spray I have over here. I'm gonna grab this Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, setting spray and I'm just going to spritz my brush. I'm going to dip it into this dark brown to fill in the outer corners of my brows. Okay, now I'm going to take this shade right here, and I'm also going to wet my brush. And I'm going to just use that to fill in some of my just empty spots. A little bit more of that dark shade and kind of just run it through just a little bit. I actually feel like you don't get a lot of pigment if it's not wet. There are some deep brows for y'all, some statement brows. So I'm just gonna spoolie through. There you go. No pen at all, it's actually quite nifty. I like the variety of shades. So that's good. I'm just gonna work with it a little bit more. We have brows done, my skin is clean. Let's see what is in here next. Okay, there is a hmm, large contour brush by Crown Pro, and this is $24.99. That's nice, and then we also have this exclusive Temp to liquid glow. You can put it over or under your foundation to give it a luminosity. Let's try a little bit on the back of my hand and see what this looks like. Ooh, it's very liquidy. Pretty. Pretty, pretty. I like it. So I'm going to grab this e.l.f. brush and I'm going to put the temp to on the back of my hand and I'm going to use this brush to disperse it. All over my face. It drives, like it doesn't dry, but it dissipates really quickly. I'm going to grab my Beauty Blender and my Milani Conceal and Perfect. Squirt that on there. Just so gonna dot that first and to blend. All right, next I'm going to grab my a little bit of um, Tarte Shape Tape. All right, it looks good to me. Next product that we have in the box is this Highlight and Contour Palette by IBY. Very similar to the Anastasia Palette, but it has a mirror. I really like that it has a really taupey shade, which is great. And this retails for $40. Looks very nice. So I'm going to take highlight two. Set my under eyes. Cute as well. And get my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contra palette so we can compare. So let's just compare the two. This is the Anastasia one, and this is the Ivy Ivy Beauty one. So I actually like the color selection in this one more because these two shades are shimmer shades and whereas these are all matte, which I really like. And then also this is a very taupey, which is nice for my skin tone, whereas this is a little bit more orange. Now this was the taupiest shade, which you can see I've completely worn out, but that's a little bit more similar to almost, 
think this one is most similar to this. And this is really like ashy, which I like a little bit more for my skin tone. And then this was a little bit too yellow, whereas this is more of a peach. Uh, yeah, it's, it's like a nudie peach as opposed to this, which is more yellow. So I actually really like these, um, this color selection a little bit more. And then also they're all matte, which I love. And pretty much the same pan sizes. I believe they are the same pan sizes. And also same price. Uh, the Anastasia one is a little heavier and a little bit bulkier, but not by much at all. So, so far, so good. And I love my Anastasia one, as you can see. Um, use it all the time. Uh, so yes, I'm just going to go back and grab a little bit more powder, continue like buffing just a little bit. I like more of a matte face. Let's put that brush to the test. Grab this brush and grab that um, Toby shade, the Contour 3. Dip that in and... Nice and pigmented. Trying not to like yank too much because I don't want it to remove. I don't want it to move my foundation around. Okay, put that in my temples. It is very stiff. So I'm wondering if it would just, this would just be, you know, better off with creams or foundation. Let's see what it says. Round contour brush. This super soft paddle brush can be used with any liquid powder or cream for full coverage application. Ideal for sculpting and blending. This, this, mm, this is best used with liquids or cream products. I agree. It's very dense and I like it. It feels nice. Um, it's a good brush. But I'm going to grab this also by Crown. Fan brush. And I'm going to dip into this one right here. Contour number one. Ooh, it is powdery. I do want this look to be very bronzy because the eyes are so loud so I'm going to grab the smaller brush and go into that taupey shade and just um do a little bit of nose contouring all the way up to the brow then I'm going to pick that up and just blend it all in okay I'm just going to grab that brush and pick this shade at the end and just kind of do a little bit of lip contour. Okay. Now for blush, I'm not going to really use a blush. I'm going to go into this Wet n Wild Color Icon, take it to Brazil. And this is kind of like a shimmery bronzer. I'm going to grab my blush brush. I'm going to go through and use this as a blush because like I said, I want this to be like very bronzy. I want the color to all really be in the eyes. I'm going to grab this Ofra highlight in Rodeo Drive and it's like a more of a golding, goldy um, highlighter. To grab this fan brush by So Soothing. I'm going to grab a smaller brush and just put a little bit on my brow bone. And I'm going to put some on my brush, spritz it, and put that. So to continue on with the theme, I'm going to go into this Melted Chocolate um, Liquid Lip by Too Faced. So it looks very bronzy on my hand. But on my lips, it actually goes quite well. My god, it smells like toffee. I am incredibly obsessed with this shade right here. I've also never really tried any Too Faced liquid lips in this color, which I received, um, I picked it out in a rewards box at um, Sephora. And I think this is my new favorite shade. And it goes really nicely with this look. So these were my five BoxyCharm products and I really like them. If you like this video and you like these products, give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment uh, in the comment box below if you got your boxy charm this month. Which product was your favorite product? I think I have to go with a contour palette. Although this um, Temp 2 is leaving my face looking like really, really youthful, really nice. Even I know that my uh, camera gives me, you know, a nice blurred effect to my skin, but 
when I move out of focus, it's my texture isn't that evident. Um, even in real life, it doesn't look that evident, which I really, really like. So it's doing good. So leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite product was. All these for $21. That's incredible. It's great. I love BoxyCharm. I used to have a bunch of other subscriptions, but it got to be a little too pricey, so I canceled them. But BoxyCharm, I could not. It's just $21. What an incredible value. Thank you so much, BoxyCharm, for this month's box. I really love it. Um, so yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you like watching my videos. Click that bell so that you can get notified of any time I post a new video, a new video online. And thanks so much for sticking around. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.